if you are advising recent graduates, young professionals, or aspiring leaders, especially those who are entering the sciences or another complex field, what role would you tell them communications will play in their future success? I think it's one of the most important skills that a young scientist or really a young professional just starting out can have. And that applies to both written communication and verbal communication. I think being able to distill what you've been working on, uh, a complicated subject, into language that anybody can understand and tell it in a captivating way is, is a rare skill, but it is so valuable. And that's why I think the people who have mastered that skill really tend to stand out. Uh, the name that popped to mind is, is Richard Feynman. You know, there's so much complexity in, in an area like quantum physics, for example, but you jump on YouTube, type in Richard Feynman, pull up any one of his video lectures, it's impossible to not be captivated because he takes this seemingly esoteric, seemingly complicated subject and breaks it down and explains it in a way that anybody can understand. And, and you can just spend hours getting lost in some of his videos because he has that skill. I mean, he's obviously, he's a Nobel laureate. He's an expert in, in what he's talking about, but he also has the ability to zoom out and look at that topic from the perspective of someone who knows nothing about it. And I think that ability to shift your perspective and to communicate whatever it is you might be an expert on to a lay audience is one of the, I think, the rarest, yet one of the also the most important skills uh, of, of modern times. I think communication, both verbal and written communication, is essential to what, what we do regardless of what industry you're in. You have to be able to communicate your ideas, uh, to, to be able to reach out to other people and to connect with them. And I think one of the most rare, um, and rare yet really important skills is to be able to communicate complex topics in a simple way that anybody can understand. Um, and, and I say it's rare because when we become experts on a particular topic, an expert doesn't necessarily mean that you have a PhD in it, but expert as in you've spent a couple of weeks thinking about that topic and, and writing about it. It becomes really difficult for you to convey what you've learned to somebody who knows nothing about that topic. Communicating complex topics in simple language, which is easier said than done, takes practice, takes work, but you say that simple is sophisticated. How do those scientists like Richard Feynman or Carl Sagan, another person you mentioned in the book as being a great communicator, how do they make the complex simple for the average person to, to understand? I think one of the things that Carl Sagan, Richard Feynman, and other scientists like them have mastered uh, is first principles thinking. So first principles thinking is a way of taking a complicated subject, a complex system, and breaking it down to its smallest fundamental subcomponents. So you're letting go of everything. You're letting go of like names you may have absorbed. You're breaking it down to its essentials and building it back up from scratch. And I think both of them are able to do that. They're able to look at a complex theory, break it down to its essentials, and then build it back up from scratch in a way that makes sense to them and in a way that makes sense to, to a beginner. And I think people who can do that also then, because when you're able to break down a complex system yourself and build it back up in a way that makes sense, you then position yourself also, you put yourself in a better position to be able to do that to, to somebody else, to be able to communicate that thought process to somebody else because you built it yourself. You're not just relying on you know, something that you may have heard in a book somewhere. You're not just relying on complicated names or theories. You're relaying it in a way that um, that makes sense to you and it makes sense to you because you broke it down and built it back up from scratch. Is simple language, effective communication skills, great presenting skills, are those skills that can be learned and developed and refined in your experience? For sure, I think. Um, I think when, when we're first starting out, I don't know of any sort of natural born 
communicators. I think we all stumble along the way, and I was certainly in that position. Um, in my early years in academia, I'm a law professor. That's my day job now. I did this pretty significant pivot, and I left rocket science. But in my early years, I had trouble in communicating these subjects like constitutional law that I was an expert on to an audience of lay law students. They were just beginning, and they had they knew nothing about constitutional law. And, and it was after trial and error and, and reading a number of resources that I began to understand how to communicate myself. Uh, and actually, one of the books that was really helpful was your book, Carmine, Talk Like Ted, which I picked up at the very initial stages of my keynote speaking career, and I found it immensely helpful in putting together a captivating presentation. So absolutely, I think just like any other skill, this can be learned. And just like any other skill, uh, when you're first starting out, you're not going to be great at it. But just like any other skill, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it as well.